Before you can edit anything, you must have something selected. In this video, you will learn how to select designs and parts of a design. It is much easier to tell exactly what is selected if you view a design in design view and not artistic view, which is a realistic preview of stitches. In both of these designs, you are looking at artistic view. Now I've switched to design view. You can switch to design view by using the show artistic view icon in the toolbar. You can also use a shortcut key, which is the letter T on your keyboard, and you can change the view in the view menu by clicking on view artistic view. It's important that you understand the difference between a group design and an ungrouped design. If you click on a design and all of it turns pink, that design is grouped. On an ungrouped design, you will click on part of an object and only that part turns pink. When the design turns pink, it shows you what is selected. The Select Object tool is the selected tool by default, which means when nothing else is activated, you will be able to select. If you press Escape on the keyboard, the Select Object tool will be activated without clicking on the icon. If I choose a tool and then press Escape, the Select Object is now activated and I can click on part of a design to select that part of a design. You can also click on the Select Object tool to make it the active tool. If you want to select a single object from a grouped object, if you hold down the Alt key and then click on that part of the object, it will select only that part of the object. So the Alt key lets you select just portions of a grouped design. Ungrouping is not always the best idea because sometimes it's easy to grab a part of a design and drag it off your screen. So it's usually better to work with designs that are grouped and then use the Alt key. To deselect an object, just click outside the black boxes that you see and the object will be deselected. To select multiple objects, of a group design, if you hold down the Alt and the Control key, you can select multiple parts of an object. If you want to select everything on the screen, of course, if it's grouped, it's easy to just click on the design. But on an ungrouped design, select Control A, or you can go to Edit and Select All, and it will select all the objects on the screen. A quick and easy way to select is also through color film. Just click on the color that you wish to select and it will select all objects of that color. If I'm working with a group design, I'll use the Alt key and click on the color film chip and that will select all the red objects on the group design. In color film, you can also break the colors into objects and then just select one object instead of by color. One other way to select designs is to hold down the Alt key because I'm working with this group design and drag a bounding box around the section that I want to choose. You want to be careful to Make sure your bounding box is large enough to surround the entire object. Any item or object that is not in the selection box will not be selected. If you're working with an ungrouped, it's just clicking and dragging without the Alt key. If you need to select a range of objects in color film, you can select the first object and hold down the Shift key select the last object you wish to select and the shift key will select all objects in between. Again, if you're working with a group design, you'll use Alt plus the shift key. Again, selecting the first chip and then selecting the last chip with the shift key and the Alt key and that will select all the objects. If you have a complex shape, 
you can use Polygon Select. And if I'm holding down the Alt key, I can click around the object and then press Enter and it will select only that object. With an ungrouped design, Polygon Select is used the same way. Just click around the design, only you do not have to hold the Alt key down. Press Enter and, and that is now the selected object. With objects that are on top of objects, it's sometimes hard to select the part that you want. Of course, zooming in also helps, but you can hold down the number two key, select an object, and then while holding the number two key down, click again and it will select the next object in the layer. Now that you've learned ways to select, we will learn about editing that selected object or design in the next videos.